I honestly can't see myself working in any other industry. If it wasn't audio, it would be some other discipline in games, such as design or QA. Games are what I enjoy, so doing something else wouldn't be half as fun. I think we are brought up to believe that jobs are all about the money you make and the holidays that you get in between. But I don't see why that has to be the case. Life doesn't have to drag on in that way. It may be harder at first to get yourself off the ground, but in the end, it's well worth the effort that you put into it. My name is Connor Bradley. I'm a freelance composer and sound designer working in games. This is my home studio based in Derry where you'll find me most hours of the day. It wasn't until I saw an interview of Jason Graves speaking about the dynamic music system they used in Dead Space that I basically decided there and then, well, this is very cool. I wonder if it's possible for me to do something like that. The way I like to look at game audio is when a game is first launched, all of your audio is loaded into the background, ready to be triggered at any time by the code. So for example, say the player walks into a mysterious forest. This tells the game, okay, play back the mysterious forest music or ambience cue. As the player walks along, every time the feet of their animation comes in contact with the game's ground, that sends back information on the surface's type and then uses that to trigger the appropriate sound effects. One of the biggest challenges game audio designers have, in my opinion, is the simulation of 3D space. A player has to feel as if they're in this world that we've helped create and if one sound sounds out of place to them, this can take them out of that experience. In almost every case when first brought onto a project, the game will still be in development and the lead will have a fair idea on how they want it to sound. So to achieve that, I like to gather as much material for inspiration as I can. So that can range from anything from early art concepts all the way to actual playable builds of the game. Really anything I can get my hands on just to help me better create the audio for it. I always find music is a great place to start because you can express so much in just a couple of notes, which really helps define the direction of the, the audio. So once I have some themes developing there, I'll then move on to the sound design. First, staying around my house and gathering as much material as I can, because you can surprise them by everyday items when used in a certain way can produce such a great and very usable sound. Working in, the, in one spot for hours can be tasking for anyone, mentally and physically. I think after a certain amount of time, everyone gets less efficient at what they're doing. And it's a good idea to step away from your work and just take a moment to refresh your mind and also in my case, ears. And this could be something as simple as making coffee, getting something to eat or heading outside, in my case, out to the cats for a while. Though halfway through my day, I if it's dry, dry enough outside, I tend to head out and go for a walk. I think for anyone who's trying to make a living in what they enjoy, it's important to just stick with it, no matter what happens. If you try hard enough to get there, eventually you will. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. It's the learning from our mistakes and moments of failure 
that help us improve and continue to move onwards and upwards. And in the end, that's what matters.